This lesson is where we're going to learn how to subtract integers using a number line model. So this is going to be similar to adding numbers using a number line model, but let's check out the subtle differences. So our first example is this, 2 minus 5. Just like when we're adding numbers, you want to start at 0 and then use that first number, 2, to, start to move to. So we're going to look at 2 at the number line. The difference here is today I'm subtracting 5. So if I'm subtracting 5 positive numbers, that's going to make my number get smaller. In this case, when I subtract a number, I'm going to move left. If that's a positive number, I'm going to move left. So I'm going to take my number counter, I was at 2, and I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the left. So I subtracted 5. Notice I land at negative 3. That means 2 minus 5 equals negative 3. Let's look at a number example that's slightly more complicated for a lot of people. This is um, taking away a negative. I have this problem example, negative 8 minus negative 2. When I put this in real world context, I like to think of it as we're taking away debt. Okay, negative 2 is debt. Take away debt. If you take away debt, that's a good thing. That makes you end up having more money. So if I started with $8 in debt and I took away $2 in debt, I'm getting more money. I have less debt. So you might notice when you subtract a negative number, you're going to move right. I'm going to look here again. I will start at 0, but then I'm going to move to negative 8. And then I'm taking away two negatives, $2 of that debt. So as I take it away, I'm moving to the right. So I subtracted negative 2. Notice I get to negative 6. If I had $8 of debt and I take away $2 of debt, I only have $6 of debt now. I'm at negative 6. Okay, let's try a couple more of these examples. All right, 5 minus negative 1. If you're feeling comfortable, pause the video, try this on your own. If not, just follow along with me. So 5 minus negative 1, I'm going to start at 0 and then move to 5. I'm taking away a negative. So remember when I take away a negative, that's a good thing. I'm going to move to the right. So I'm going to move to the right one space. I'm going to land at 6. So 5 minus negative 1 is 6. Okay, let's see one more final example. Negative 2 minus 7. So this time again, I'm going to start at 0 and then move left 2 because I'm trying to get to negative 2. And then I'm subtracting 7. This time I'm subtracting 7 positives. So that's going to make my number go smaller. I'll move further to the left. So I'm going to count 7 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice I ended up at negative 9. Therefore, negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. Okay, subtracting integers is another very important skill, so I want you to practice this until you feel confident and comfortable.